Today we're going to design our own unique hybrid animal by combining at least two different animal species together. I think for the best results I would do two, three, or four different animals combined. And when you're choosing your animals, you want to choose some animals that are very different from each other. So I chose a bass, an elephant, and a zebra. So these are three very different species. Um, when you choose ones that are too similar, sometimes it can be hard to tell what animals you've combined to create your hybrid. So first thing that you want to think about is what parts of each animal you want to use. So I think for mine, I'm going to do an elephant's head. I'm going to do the zebra's body. And I'm going to do the fish, I'm going to do the fins and the tail. So I like to start with the body first. So for the zebra, I think for the body, I would probably use like an oval shape. So that's what I'm going to draw on my paper first, is an oval for the, the body. And you want to start off by drawing lightly. Okay. Then I'm going to use the elephant's head. Okay. And for my elephant's head, I'm going to need a couple of shapes. So I would probably use a circle for a part of the head and a triangle for the ear and then for the trunk probably just a wavy line so i'm going to draw that on my paper next i have I'm lightly draw a circle so a triangle it's okay if you're shapes overlap a little bit and then I want like a curving line okay. and then I'm going to take the tail and the fins from the largemouth bass so for the tail I'm going to use kind of a triangle shape to start and for the fins Kind of like a triangle also, just a different type of triangle. And this one down here is also kind of like a triangle. So I'll start off with those ones first and see if I want to add more. So I've got my one fin up top. I've got my tail. And then I've got another fin over here. So I think I'll start with that first. Now I've got all my shapes mapped out. Now from here, I can start to create different details. So um, I would probably kind of join some of my shapes together a little more smoothly. Um, I'd probably erase some of the spots where it's gonna overlap a little bit. I think I might add in some texture for the tail. And my, my original kind of bass tail kind of comes in more like a, it's like an arrowhead shape. So I'm gonna adjust that. So we're, we're mapping things out the same way as we did with our realistic animals using shapes first, and then going in and adding the details. So let me add some more texture to my fins. And remember you can go back and erase some of these shapes after you're done. All right, for my elephant, remember to look at your, your reference pictures to help you out. So I'm gonna join this up with the head a little bit more. Make this more into kind of like the trunk. tusk coming out. I almost forgot about the tusks. Got some tusks on the side. Start kind of, kind of joining the body. And 
just going to go back and get rid of any of those original shapes that you don't need anymore. You can see how things are starting to take shape. So from here, you just keep adding your details until your hybrid animal looks good to you. Once you've drawn your animal in, you also want to think about where your animal would live. So for my kind of weird, wacky animal, I think I would make mine live underwater. Oh, I almost forgot I need to also add in some zebra stripes. Don't want to forget the zebra. can think about the background. If I want to make him or her underwater, maybe I'll make some waves up here. Maybe I'll make the trunk sticking out. Maybe that's how the creature breathes. So that's how you're going to get started on your hybrid animals today.